Five lesser known creatures in Scandinavian folklore that you probably haven't heard about. The Moss Wife. Mosukuna, which means the Moss Wife, is a female creature said to live most commonly around swamps and hidden marshy forests. They're very elusive and a much lesser known creature in Scandinavian folklore. Described as an old crone, She's sometimes thought of as a very old elf or forest spirit, sometimes covered in moss and plants, or simply described as an old hermit woman. She is said to brew magical ales and beer in a huge cauldron, whereas other legends tell that she cooks a huge pot of porridge in the deepest parts of swamps and marshes. It is said that when mist rolls in from the swamp, over the damp ground, it's because the moss wife is brewing or cooking nearby. The Fulia The Fulia, or the follower, is a type of protective spirit in Scandinavian folklore. It is somewhat like a familiar or a spirit animal, and often is thought to take the form of an animal or creature. It is said that each person has their own fulia that follows and watches over them, and that these spirits often manifest themselves as animals that resemble the traits of the person that they're bound to protect. It's thought that those who have entered the magical world, either those who have been kidnapped by trolls or stumbled upon magical places in the world, are able to see these spirits. However, to most of us, they are invisible. It's said that you may sometimes feel the presence of your own fulia, the faint footsteps of a wolf as you walk through the forest, or the cry of a bird when there are none in sight. Small signs that tell you that the spirit is watching over you. Biada. This creature goes by a number of different names, depending on the country and region that the tale is told. Best known as Bjarda in Swedish, it also goes by Melkarda, Smörkot, Pukarda, and Trollharda. The name describes either a cat or a hare, or occasionally another animal that belongs to a witch. The different names translate to vomit hare, the witch cat, butter cat, or the milk hare. It's given this name because it was said that the witch would feed the creature her own blood and send it out during the night so that it may steal the milk from her neighbor's cows and return home with a full belly. Her pet would then vomit the milk out into a bowl or bucket for the witch to use herself. The Margiga. The Margiga is similar to what we know as a mermaid. However, she is said to be hideous, with terrible claws and sharp fangs set in an impossibly wide mouth, with the lower part of a fish and the upper body of a woman. Some accounts tell that she has the most terrifying face that you will ever see, others that she has the head and teeth of a horse. It is said that she can conjure up storms, and seeing one of these deadly creatures is a terrible omen. She will lie in wait and attack fishermen that come too close, and she will try to sabotage and pull down boats into the deep, dark depths below. The Ghast This creature is a type of spirit or ghost who is most often associated with winter. It is said that you can hear his blood-curdling screams off in the distance, from somewhere out in the darkness. Legend tells that his cries sound like a raven, or a madman, or a mix between the two. The hollow cry of a forsaken spirit. Stories tell that the ghast is a ghost of a man who is doomed to walk on the outskirts of town, a curse bestowed upon him for doing terrible deeds during his life. 
Some say that you may become aghast if you move the markers that outline the edges of different properties and farms. It is said that if a Christian is brave enough to venture out and help him by moving these markers back to their rightful place, he will finally be able to rest, and it will bring an end to his terrible screams. <laughs>